So guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video reaction. Today's video is going to be about women talking about weirdly specific things that are considered red flags in men from women on TikTok. So yeah, I guess women are going to tell us what's red flags in us. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it and see what they're going to say. What are some weirdly specific things that you consider to be red flags in men? Well, shall we? First of all, I can't actually like a guy unless his apartment is covered in books. But more specifically, those books should not all be about being rich and manipulating people. I'm not going to act like I don't own a Robert Greene book, but that's not all I have. Let's get some fiction. Let's get some philosophy. When I call another girl pretty and he immediately goes, you're prettier. Oh, I was not aware that I was competing with her. Why don't I compete with you instead? Because you're a soft six. He calls himself a gentleman or old fashioned for doing literally the bare minimum. Wait, wait, wait. So you want me to compliment the girl more than you? That's what you want me to do? Is that what you're saying you want me to do? You want me to compliment your friend more than you? So that what you're saying? That would you be cool with? That what you're saying? Hmm. You took me out? That's so sweet because you want to date me and that's literally what dating is. And with bad taste and comedy literally do not exist to me. If you like Chris D'Elia or Joe Rogan, you have been killed off in the Serena Cinematic Universe. What are some weirdly specific okay. things that you consider that means, yeah. to be red flags in men? Tall, attractive guys with runty, unattractive best friends. Please know that that little troll is going to sabotage you every chance he gets because he needs a tall, attractive friend to be single so he can keep getting the scraps. What are some weirdly the, whoa, specific things? Whoa, the scraps. Things? Whoa. Dang. The scraps. Is that true, dude? Guys, is that true? I don't know. With the scraps, though? Dang. That you consider to be red flags in men. I'm gonna make somebody mad. First red flag is when a guy asks me for my Snapchat instead of asking me for my number. Second is a guy that believes. Whoa, 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 wait. Is that something wrong with the Snapchat though? Cause think about it. Most girls aren't gonna just give you the number off rip though. Let's be real. So Snapchat kind of keeps that okay, somewhat social media, somewhat kind of phone number in the same way, because you can text and FaceTime someone on that. And you know. You know, you know, like, what what would you be more comfortable with, like, your number, or a social media? Think about it. Leaves in gender roles. Third is when a dude won't let his girlfriend twerk or take sexy pictures. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Twerk or take you know, explicit photos. We talking about. We talking about what we talking about here, like by yourself. Cause think about it, we need to take. What wait? First of all, why you need to twerk? Take a have a um you know twerk video for it in the first place. Who are you doing it for? Think about it. Think about it. If I'm your boyfriend, why you need to make a twerk video for, it and post it for, other people to see? Think about it. What do you need it for? And then think about this. The you know, sissy photos, what do you need those for, exactly, if you have a whole man? I don't get it. What's the whole point of it? Do you need other people's validation? Is that what we want to say here? Fourth red flag is when a guy tells me I look like they ex. Like, that's a big fucking no-no. Don't you dare. And fifth red flag is when a guy tells you he loves you within two weeks. Bitch, you better fucking run. What are some weird... Bruh, guys, don't do that. Please don't be out here doing that. Two weeks, bruh, come on now. That's seven days each. Two weeks. Seven days. Fourteen days, basically. Please don't be out here doing that. These specific things that you consider to be red flags in men. I think my biggest red flag is if a guy tells me that he wants to be a billionaire. Like, that's what he strives to achieve. I just don't understand okay, okay. why his main goal in life would be worker exploitation, but go off, I guess. Also, like, how do you plan on making that much money? Unless it's from some illegal drug ring, you can literally get out of my sight. What are some weird... So, it's wrong to want to be successful in life now? Okay, it's cool, I guess. 
I guess, guys, I guess you can't be successful now. I guess you can't shoot for the stars, you know. Can't, you know, make sure you're secured and your future generation is secured. I guess you can't do that now. By her logic, I guess you can't do that. These specific things that you consider to be red flags in men. So simple. So obviously men are very predictable because they all have the same personality. So we tell do. a guy that That's you cool. like to play that. a game, like a video game, or like you like to listen to a rapper or something. For example, tell a guy you like the movie Pulp Fiction. If he immediately starts quizzing you on it or asking you questions to test your understanding of the movie, he thinks you are incapable of understanding something like that. Men are so basic that they create their entire personalities based off movie characters or rappers because they have no actual hobbies. And anytime they see they a do. woman like the same things as them, they get incredibly defensive because it doesn't fit their individuality complex. If he, however, instead acknowledges what you like and say, oh, I like that too, then it's a green light. But he's most likely to quiz you because he's a weirdo. What are some weirdly specific things that you consider to be red flags in men? I made a comprehensive list. You're welcome in advance. If he loves the movie Wolf of Wall Street or says it's the greatest movie of all time, um, he's an adulterer on drugs and has terrible taste. Anything having to do with Joe I've Rogan heard at all. He seen loves it. him, wants to be him, loves the podcast, run. Calls women females self-explanatory obsessed with tom brady in a weird way not like a big pats fan or a bucks fan like he just is jerking it to him all the time anger issues Ran starts any debate about women's equality at all jail it's physically angry when his sports team loses it like ruins his whole day what's your fucking problem you're not on the team relax thinks kanye west is misunderstood and a genius <laughs> mental problems if he watches female athletes like serena williams and goes i could do that jail i forgot that one jail but so for the Dang. Boys flags are, yeah and lastly if they still have a huddle link in their bio and they're no longer in high school what are some weirdly specific things that you consider to be red flags in men? i'll give you a list of my red flags that girls have just ignored on a first date i've taken girls back to my apartment there's a mattress on the floor and only one pillow i've told pretty much every girl that i've been on a date with that i don't talk to my mom anymore and no relationship i've ever had has lasted more than four months i once asked a girl if she liked being choked multiple times on one date Every single date I've ever been on, it doesn't matter where we go, I wear t-shirts and jeans. I've called girls by the wrong name on a date. Even when I know we're going to hook up, like sometimes you just know, I don't have condoms on me, which means I don't use condoms. And that's just the stuff. Bruh, this man really disqualified. Teach. <laughs> well, this man really is out here disqualify himself. <laughs> that's crazy. If I can say on TikTok. What are some weirdly specific things that you consider to be red flags in men? And get possessive about what you wear. Like, let me dress like a fucking foreign piece, okay? Like, yes, I dress like a slut, but I'm his slut. That's why he's not worried about it. Some men just can't fight, and they're Wait, insecure what? and weak. And so they want you to also appear insecure and weak with them. Don't. Don't. Find a man you can slut out with. What are some weirdly specific okay. things that you consider to be red flags in men? Number one, we have future stands. Keep that fake toxic shit somewhere the fuck else. Number two, men who identify with the Joker's origin story. You're not misunderstood. You're just psychotic. Number three. The Joker's origin story. That man fell into a pit. I forgot what it was called, though. I don't know that he fell into a pit that made his skin turn white and his hair green. So, I don't know... How many dudes are exactly going by that logic? Making that their origin story in a way? I don't know. I don't know. Three, mommy issues. No, go to therapy. Number four, men with no car that suggest we go for rides. Get your walking ass phone. No. Number five, men that say I'm chilling or I be chilling to everything. They're never chilling. Ever. I Number mean, six, I be chilling. men who FaceTimes through google meet this not a fucking lecture don't call me through no damn google meet men who wear plaid underwear you don't give a fuck about your life you damn sure don't give a fuck about mine men who want to try to link at night bitch we not raccoons men who wear boot cut jeans and finally men who breathe it's just downright disrespectful i'm not tolerating this shit and honestly you should just cut it the fuck out what are some okay i was he's trolling the angle what <laughs> 
Really? Oh, me who can't breathe? Okay, let me just hold my breath. things that you consider to be red flags in men him bringing up sex in the first two weeks this vagina is not a visitor center bitch i don't know you his ex-girlfriend be his best friend him constantly talking about his ex him comparing you to his ex when you take interest in something like video games or sports or anime and they just start rapid firing questions like oh my god what happened here what happened here like no just the, just just leave the ones who have been watching the same anime for years and years and years and years. Like, baby, Naruto is over. Let's get a new show. Him telling you to not wear Oh, well, you know, technically it's not over because, you know, Boruto, you know, Naruto Next Generation is still out here. So you can't really say Naruto's over when they have a whole show called Boruto Naruto Next Generation. So technically you can't say that. And there's a whole a bunch of other anime shows still going on too. So you can't say that either. So, yeah. He's like, bitch, can you not fight? Oh, then you shouldn't be with me. Goodbye. When they literally cannot stop talking about their homeboys and what their homeboys do and they can't get off the game because of the boys. Like, oh, no, baby. I just think that's sus. Well, all right. That's the end of the video. You know, women telling us, you know, what are red flags in us, guys? What y'all think? Y'all think there was some good points. There was some really bad points. Um, some things didn't really make sense. But tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like, what y'all thought was a red flag that y'all thought was kind of didn't make sense to y'all, you know? Or one that, you know, that at least thought you may made you think like, you know, okay, that does low-key make sense. Like, that Joker one, I was like, there's dudes out here making Joker origin stories for themselves now? Okay weird definitely weird but yeah y'all tell me y'all thoughts tell me y'all think in the comments i will like and share you know and yeah you know like comment subscribe all that good stuff and yeah i'll catch you in the next video peace